So we're waiting to do our roof raise, and in the meantime, I decided that I wanted to do some work salvaging and collecting materials for the build. It's my hope that I'm able to use as much recycled material as possible to build the bus out, and so that's been my goal. These are the light fixtures here. So as you can see, I think I might even be able to mount these into the wood later. Maybe paint them like a brass color, a copper color, and put like a little fake LED candle in there. I think they could look really cool. So anyway, I'm getting some random design ideas. I don't want to throw them out because it's good stuff. So try and reuse everything I can. So I picked up some uh, live edge wood that we're going to use for the uh, bus. I got a super good deal on it. This. Um, Sawmill was like moving locations and they were clearing out their stock, so they gave me a really good deal. Got a couple pieces. This is, this is all from the same tree. We got a couple pieces with the, um, the bark still on. Maybe we can use it as a feature or something, not sure yet. Um, these four pieces here, one, two, three, four, are all two inches thick. So these are going to be the countertops for the kitchen area. And then I got some thinner pieces here that are about one inch thick that I thought would make really cool cabinet faces. So like, you know, you put a handle on that, you cut it, and that's the door. It's got like a lot of cool texture. It's not real square, real organic looking. Uh, and a beautiful grain. Let's see, this one's got a beautiful grain on it. So I'm excited about that. And then this is just some long trim pieces from the same tree that I thought we could use as a, maybe as a backsplash or even um, drawer faces or something. Not exactly sure yet. But yeah, so that this is all this right here is gonna be the kitchen. And then this piece here is for the recording studio desk. So I really like this one. It's not the same tree, but it's a, uh, I think it might be the same species, but it's from a different cutting. It looks slightly darker. Honestly, I'm not sure. But I think it matches the motif well enough that, and I really just love the character of the wood, so I was like, I'm definitely getting it. And uh, so, yeah, that's gonna be where, basically where the computer desk lives and the speakers. And then underneath I'll build out the, uh, the drawer system. But yeah, so that's gonna be the inside. When you stain it up, it gets real dark and pretty. Probably do like a polyurethane coat on it. This is a bunch of wood that I've salvaged I'm gonna have to cut these in probably in half. These are two by sixes. I'm gonna try to, yeah, kind of cut them long ways to make them closer to two by twos for the framing, just to keep it lighter. But I got a good amount of this stuff. Um, this is all free and it's recycled, so I love that route. You guys saw this stuff already. This is sitting out here to dry right now. Um, yeah. So I was able to salvage some uh, cabinet doors and some drawer slides and some drawers themselves. Hard to see back here. Yeah, some drawers back there. And I got a couple pallets that I'm working on. And that's all the sheet metal from the inside. So the, right now the workshop is basically filled with uh, with goodies. Here's some more stuff. This is that reflective tape material that I was talking about. This is pretty cool. Not exactly sure how we'll be able to interpret it, but there's some cool stuff going on. So maybe we can do something with it.